And now here's a look at the month of April for Scorpios. The best days in April for you are going to be the 7th, the 8th, and the 9th. This is when the moon sign will be in Scorpio, and this is when you are at high tide. The Mercury retrograde on April 21 will give you a chance to double-check paperwork and find errors. When the moon sign, or your ruling planets, Mars and Pluto, pass through Scorpio, we all feel capable of turning lead into gold and transforming who we want to be. Now, here's a look at April for the uh, water sign, Scorpio. And we'll begin with Scorpios in love. Uh, in the first week of the month, what you're going to find is that uh, some doors are locked and some are going to swing wide open. And this is to direct your path into a predicted future. In week number two, follow the path of least resistance to obtain the help of the spirit world. Watch the omens. Check the door that's open. In week number three, you're being led to the one who's destined to be with you in this lifetime. And you're being led by a soul who wants to come into this life as your child. In week number four, the transition that you're considering from friends to relationship mates has been put into your mind by you and your spirit guides. And here's a look now at your career in the month of April. In week number one, financial problems are a sure sign that you overvalue the opinions of others rather than listening to your own subconscious. In week number two, financial woes are the easy way for the spirit world to get your attention. In week number three, far and fast travel is going to be a part of the action that takes you and another into a new world. And in week number four, you're flying through the clouds to locate the one that you want to be with. And it looks like this is a thought travel or astral projection. Now, here's a look at your finances in the month of April. In week number one, this is the week to invest. And you should uh, invest in what affects you by way of your eyes and your ears. And that would be the entertainment industry. In week number two, when a job morphs from uh, work into play, you know you're in the right place and that you're with the right people. And in week number three, you take off from one place and then land in another. And this mistake has been necessary to put you where you need to be, in the right place at the right time. And at week number four, you're going to be able to go to the one who needs you most and with their help, accomplish your dreams. And that's a look at the uh, days in the month of April, according to your sun sign. Now here's a look at your nights in April, according to the moon sign. In the first week of the month, and this is the week of the full moon, which rises in Libra. So your dreams that come this week are about your intimate relationships, and they come to show you where you stand in the eyes of your uh, other. And in week number two, the week of the last quarter moon that rises in Virgo, the dreams and the visions that come to you this week are coming to show you the worth of your habits, both good and bad. In week number three, the week of the new moon that rises in Taurus, the dreams that come now are about material world possessions that you want to receive in the future, and you will if you're willing to put the work in now to uh, get that to uh, happen. In week number four, the week of the first quarter of the moon, which will rise in Leo, the dreams and the visions that come now are a wake-up call from your inner child, inviting you to come play and not be so serious. And that's a look at April for the water sign, Scorpio. If you like what you see here, please hit the subscribe button.